So now we'll talk about how we can describe a set. Basically, how can we represent a set? So there are three types are defined using which uh, we can describe the sets. One is roster method or the tabular form, which is a very normal method, and usually we always try to use that. Another one is description method, which is rarely used, but uh, we'll also look into that so that we must know what is description method. And and the last one is the rule method or the set builder form. So we'll look into each of the forms in detail, and we'll also see the different examples. So these are the three methods, description description methods, which we are going to. uh discuss one is roster method another one is description method and third one is the rule method or the set builder form so in the first form that is roster form or the tabular form in this form we just basically put all the elements of a set in curly braces and we always make sure that none of the element is repeated so this this is the mostly used form and we call this as a roster form just by definition under this method we just make a list of the members of the set and put them within the braces so uh, the order in which the elements are set of a set are listed in, in uh, that doesn't matter so if you write any set just like 1 2 3 or you write just like 1 2 3 or 2 3 2 uh, 3 1 or 3 1 2 or 3 2 or whatever so this are doesn't matter actually because if the same number of elements are present same is uh, elements are present then there is no difference in those sets that that is actually the same set so the order in which this um, uh, elements are set are listed doesn't matter one of the very uh, basically common practice is being followed like we always try to put the sets in 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 order in increasing order or decreasing order mostly it is followed that uh, uh, we always put the sets in the increasing order but there is no mandate you can put the elements in any order and all the all the sets containing the same set of elements would be the same so this is a uh, roster form or the tabular form we'll see some examples like a is a set of all the factors of 30 so this is the example a is the set of all the factors of 30 so we need to find out all such element which will lie in this condition so if we go basically try to figure out what are all the factors of 30 so that that can be 1 that can be 2 that can be 3 that can be 5 that can be 6 10 15 and 30 so all these elements satisfy their condition so all these elements would be the part of or would the be the element of the set a so we are written all these elements under the curly braces so this has basically kind of a this is a basically kind of a roster form or the tabular form this is the mostly used form so you should understand this if there are any repeated elements then we always try to put them only once not more than that let's take another example like just like set of all the elements all the all set of all the multiples of 9 which are less than 30 So multiples of nine would be nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five, fifty-four, sixty-three, and etc. But here it has written that it should be. It is these are these are all the elements which are less than thirty, less than sixty. So all those elements will be these, and under the uh, we have written them under the curly braces. So this particular set B is written in the roster form. Let's take another example. Uh, let uh, set m is the set of all the letters of the word professor so you can see here uh, 
S has been repeated twice, or the O has repeated twice. Repeated twice. R is also repeated. But when we we'll, we try to write this set under the an as a basically roster form, then we'll not repeat the elements. We'll just the repeated elements. Write the elements uh, element repeated elements once only. So just just basically get the try to figure out all the distinct elements in professor and write them here. So we'll write. The roster form is like this P R O F E S, and there is no other element except all these uh, moving to the next representation of set that is the rule method or the set builder form. So just going going through the name rule. So we uh, write the rules of all the elements, which, which basically uh, the rule which is going to be satisfied by all the elements. We just try to write that rule under the set. So just going by the definition, under this method we will we list the properties satisfied by each element in the set. So it is written as x as that x has the property of p. So here, this this colon is is called as in mathematical language we call is that such that. Sometimes at few places um, this vertical line is also used as a such that call such that symbol. So you, you basically you must be aware of this. So let let's take some some example so that uh, this particular uh, rule method would be clear. So suppose for an example. It has been written like uh, there is a, uh, there is a set named as A, which is containing the element 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. So clearly, looking at these numbers, we figure out that these are all the prime numbers. But these are the prime numbers which are greater than 10 and less than 30. So if you want to rule that in the rule met uh, in the rule form, rule method form, you can say, then we'll write this at like this. That uh, set A is equal to curly braces x such that x is a prime number, and then we'll put the condition. So in the rule uh, rule method form, it will be written as x such that x is a prime number where x lies between or yes, x is uh, greater than 10 and less than 30. Correct. Let's take another example. There is a set B which is having the uh, elements as as shown. Minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, and four. So looking at these numbers, you know that these are all the integers, right? But if we need to write this in rule method or the set builder set uh, builder form, then we need to write it like this: that there is x whose property is that this is an integer and it is lie it lies between minus five and plus five. So this is how we write the uh, rule method form or the set builder form. So we usually prefer this uh, such type of uh, the representation of the set when we have plenty number of uh, values present in the set and it is not possible to write all the values in a, in basically in set in uh, in the roster form. Then uh, and the, all the elements are basically having some pattern or all the elements are having some property. Then we try to write that. In in this form. Let's take another another example. Uh, there is a set C, who's having elements seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-two, forty-nine, and fifty-six. It is it is quite clear that all these numbers have the multiple of seven, right? So we'll write uh, C as x is such that x is a multiple of seven. And x is less than 60 because here we have the elements till 56. So we have written is like x is a x is a multiple of 7 where the uh, x is less than 57. We would have written like this as well because it's, uh, still this using this condition all the elements would be found out. 
Moving to the last one, that is description method. This particular method is rarely used. Under this method, we just give the description of the members of the set and put them in the braces. Only the description is written in under the under the braces. So just just say for example, we have the uh, set A having 31, 37, 41, 43, and 47 elements, right? So you know that these are all the prime numbers. So you can write in the description form like, as as like this. Under the curly, curly braces, we will write the description prime numbers between 30 and 50. This is very rarely used. This method is very quite rarely used, but still we have we should have, the, uh, we should have the enough idea of uh, this method. Let's take another example. B is equal to 0, 2, 4, 6, 10, and 12. So these are all the even numbers, you know, right? So its description method would be like even whole numbers which are less than. 14. 